for shocking me. And it, that ground is connected to the breaker box. I need to get in there and find that and disconnect it. I don't know if I did that or if it was always that way. But that's why it, it's, it's, you get, when you, this house only has two wires. It doesn't have a real ground, you know. It doesn't have a third wire. It has a common and a positive. And there is a common, but that's what they call that, but the bus bar in there where all the commons are connected. I believe that's why they call it common, you know, a common bus bar. So, um, um, but you can connect that third wire to it and it will work it you know it won't short anything out it's not it's not giving you that protection because it's not going to ground but uh, what ground is supposed to do you know it's not sending a hard fault to ground but uh, uh, I had a, well an old fellow tell me that you could do that a few years quite a few years ago now and uh, what it will do is some of these uh, like power strips and some devices that won't run without a ground they won't they'll give you keep you know like they'll they may not work right or they'll blink you know if it has a screen it'll blink at you you're not grounded you're not grounded and all that you can do it that way and uh, it'll fool the it'll t it'll make the thing think it's grounded uh, and I did that on one I wired uh was it new microwave yeah I think I ended up having to do that no I didn't have any three wires Anyway, I, this one I think was probably done that way because it was originally an outdoor light, and and it was probably even might even been code to, considered safer even back in the two wire house days. You know when houses were wired with only two wires, uh, that might have been actually been a code that you need to do that on an outdoor connection. And I suppose, but all it does is shock you. I mean, it's only five volts, but boy, it kind of hurts. I never did. All of those other videos, if you see me getting shocked, I never once touched, you know, the black or white wire. I never touched the common or the positive wire. Uh, and the switch was off. I, it was shocking me with the switch off. And that's because of the bleed, I'd call it bleed back, you know. It's coming down that ground wire from that common uh, terminal that it's hooked up to. And I, I, I had to go look to prove it, but I'm certain that's what it is. Uh, and, I th and if I can figure out, there might be more than one on there. I think I put one or two. I wired some things that had three wire, you know, three wires, and I went in and did that. That's when I learned that. Uh, and um, I wired, oh, it's my uh, big circuit over there, 20, uh, 115 amp and 120 amp that, that I put in. I think it is wired that way because uh, I thought it would be safer uh, for the welder and things like that. <clears throat> no, I think it is. But uh, this light... It just makes it dangerous. Uh, I, all I did was I just took that ground wire, and I, did, I thought in case I ever needed I didn't snip it off or anything. I just bent it back, and it got shocked two or three times trying to tape it up. I taped it up, and now that light don't shock you. That fi old fixture, I thought there was something wrong with it. It was shocking you because I had the ground wire hooked up to it. I thought that was better back. Like I said, I put that, that light fixture in. It was an old porch light, and I put it in when I was a kid. I was probably 12. I don't know. Everything happened when I was 12, but... I was probably 12, <laughs> could have been 10, I could have been 14. I started learning to replace light switches and, and plugs hot. I think that's how I learned how to do it. Uh, the, our breakers have always been hard to figure out what goes where, and then when you turn things off and mess up the clocks, you got to fix it all, you know. So uh, I learned how to do it when I was a kid, and I've done, I don't do it, in, you know. If it's easy enough to, well, there's a switch here is why I... Why I didn't, uh, and, and I thought about going turning the breaker off when it started zapping me, but I tested it all out and found out it wasn't 110. You know, it wasn't deadly, so I didn't didn't do it. I didn't want to go spend all that time trying to figure out which one it was. Uh, there's labels on top of labels that's been changed over the years because they're not wired in any way that makes any common sense. And and, and it really it's not that it's done wrong. I don't at all. I, I don't think. It's because they but they load balance the house. They didn't do it. And what you might think, well, this plug would be here, and then the next one down the wall would be uh, here, and they all be on that circle. That's not how it is. You might have one plug go another ten feet, and other plugs on a different circuit, and that's because they're load balancing uh, the breaker box. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, those don't even really get hot. So that's all I'm going to do is just that. And then if I give me a pl either a switch and a plug there or uh, just a hole, I'd rather have a plug that goes before the switch. I don't want the, the switch to turn off my electricity to the camera. 
I don't want to leave it. I want to be able to use that switch and turn those lights on and off normally. So I'm going to try to make sure I do that. And then that's another whole project, what it'll end up being. Okay, so yeah, I said I was done and I'm still talking. All right, so I'm going this time. All right, so uh, you dizzy? That's because you're swapping around. Okay, bye-bye. Good night.